Parents are typically the most powerful role models for their children. Wouldn't it be amazing if, even through separation and divorce, you could continue being a great role model by putting your child's needs first? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to co-parent in a loving and releasing way, even through separation or divorce. And yes, it is possible. Once we have fully accepted that we have a responsibility to our children to ensure the divorce does not tear them apart emotionally, the rest is easy. Here are a few tips. First, your child's best interests are your best interests too. It's amazing what can happen when we truly have best interests of the people we love most at heart. Being pleasant or at least civil to an ex-spouse is the least that we can do to accomplish this goal. You can start by telling your children honestly that they are still number one in your lives. You now have created a new relationship with your ex-spouse where you both are co-allies in childcare. Both parents are protectors and nurturers of the same children, which means that you still have a great deal in common. If there is a lot of tension in the relationship, then consider postmarital counseling to get through the rough patches and help with the co-parenting plan. When there's a great deal of emotion involved, as often as there is with divorce, listening to an objective voice can be very helpful. And finally, don't play the blame game when it comes to your ex-spouse. Making children choose sides is cruel and extremely detrimental to their emotional well-being. Parental fighting might be inevitable, but try to keep it private so it doesn't cause resentment and additional pain for the children. I'm Dr. Wendy O'Connor. Visit my website at drwendyoconnor.com. You can follow my blog and check out my podcast on love and relationships. You can also leave a comment or email me there as well. And while you're on my site, make sure you sign up for my monthly newsletter. Thanks for watching and stay open.